and welcome to story time. My name is Miss Christy. Today I picked out a really fun book for us. It is called If I Had a Griffin by Vicki Van Sickle and illustrated by Kale Atkinson. But before we read the book, we're going to do a song. So let's get started. Hey friends. So our first song today is called If You'd Like to Read a Book goes like this. If you'd like to read a book, clap your hands. If you'd like to read a book, clap your hands. If you'd like to read a book, listen up and take a look. If you'd like to read a book, clap your hands. If you'd like to read a book, stomp your feet. If you'd like to read a book, stomp your feet. If you'd like to read a book, listen up and take a look. If you'd like to read a book, stomp your feet. If you'd like to read a book, shout hooray, hooray. If you'd like to read a book, shout hooray, hooray. If you'd like to read a book, listen up and take a look. If you'd like to read a book, shout hooray, hooray. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that song. So let's get started with our story. It is called, If I Had a Griffin. And it is for all you guys out there who have ever dreamed of having a really cool pet, like a unicorn or a dragon or a griffin. We'll see what happens. Last week, I got a hamster, my first and only pet. He mostly eats and sleeps and hides and gets his shavings wet. Oh, he sounds like a pretty boring pet, huh? If only I could have a pet with strange, exotic powers, I know that I'd find lots to do to while away the hours. If I had a unicorn, I'd braid her silky mane. I'd make her silver horseshoes that tinkled in the rain. We'd prance through fields of posies and nibble nectarines. I'd shine her horn with candy corn to get a starry sheen. Sounds like a good plan to me. Unicorns are pretty but they're also very shy. Uh-oh, her unicorn's hiding under her bed. On second thought, I'd like to give a hippogriff a try. Well, this hippogriff is this big bird. A hippogriff needs lots to do, like run and jump and fetch. I take him to the dog park to give his wings a stretch. Can we all stretch our wings like the hippogriff? Good job. Though a hippogriff is tons of fun, the dogs might find him scary. And when it comes to playing ball, well, things could get quite hairy. Uh-oh, <laughs> all of the dogs are too scared to play with the big giant bird. Perhaps I'll get a Sasquatch with burly curly fur, and then I'd spend three hours a day attacking snarls and burrs. It doesn't seem like a fun time. I have enough trouble with the tangles in my hair. If I had a griffin, I'd love each flashing feather. But she needs flying every day, regardless of the weather. Oh no, who wants to go fly their griffin out in the rain? Not me. If I had a kraken, we'd swim and deep sea dive but I would need a scuba suit in order to survive. A kraken is a big squid. If I had a dragon, 
with a temperamental snout, I'd need a fire extinguisher to put her sneezes out. Uh-oh. Kieran needs a field of grass, at least an ocean wide. Jackalope needs sturdy reins for bumpy, jumpy rides. Phoenix needs a chimney nest that's smoke and fireproof. Manticore needs special floss for each and every tooth. Oh no, who wants to floss that mouth, right? No, thank you. Harpies are too screechy. Chupacabras like to bite. Fairies play too many tricks and Kelpies hate the light. Basilisk is slippery. Chimera likes to scratch. Mermaids brush their hair all day and sprites are hard to catch. I wonder if she'll ever find a pet that suits her. Perhaps a hamster is not so bad. In fact, he's rather sweet. I love his furry belly and his teeny tiny feet. He may not be a griffin or a creature from the sea, but I am his and he is mine and that's good enough for me. <gasps> but I think the hamster might have other ideas. The end. What did you guys think? Do you guys have any favorite extraordinary animals that you would like as a pet? Personally, I think I would like a dragon. I know their sneezes are a little uncontrollable, but they're very cute, and I would love to ride one to the library every day. I hope you guys enjoyed story time and the songs and the story. And once again, the story you read is called If I Had a Griffin by Vicki Van Sickle and illustrated by Kale Atkinson. And if you want to read it again, you can check out a copy at your local library. We'll see you next time. Bye!